Hi everyone, it's Ismael, product lead at ArgentX. And I'm gonna show you how to use ArgentX, the first wallet on StarkNet. So since I'm using the Brave browser, uh, the first thing I need to do is go to the Chrome store here and search for ArgentX and just add to Chrome. So once we've added it, uh, we'll be able to see it here and it'll take us to the onboarding. So to create a new wallet, we click on here, accept, set a password. And there you go, we have a wallet and to be able to access it quickly, we can pin it and that's it. Uh, there seems to be some network issues, but um, here it is. So if we click in here, we can see our account one. It's been deployed. We can see the address here. These are the different networks. Uh, we're going to be doing this tutorial on testnet. You can access your different accounts here. And for example, we can add another one by clicking in here. Uh, and you can see this banner to set up the account recovery. If we click on here, uh, we can copy the seed phrase that we'll be able to use to recover the, the accounts in the future. All right, so here you can see that we don't have any tokens. So let's get some test tokens by going to uh, the Starknet faucet. Uh, this is a website to, that sends test tokens to your account. So we can copy our account, uh, put it in here, and after some time, we should receive some test tokens in our account. All right, now that the request is complete, we can see our tokens arrived here in our account. So let's visit other parts of the UI. Uh, the collectibles, we can see that we don't have any NFTs. So let's go on aspect and buy one. So we can go on brick. Uh, let's find one. Okay. If we go here, we can buy this NFT. Okay. We need to first connect the wallet. Uh, we can choose here the account that we need to, that we want to connect to. Let's connect the account one, buy now. Okay, here we can see some details about the transaction and approve and we should have our NFT soon. All right, so now that the transaction is complete, we can see here in the collectibles tab, the NFTs. Uh, and we can see here the one that we just bought. Uh, let's try to send it to another address. Uh, for example, account two. Uh -huh. All good. All right. In the meantime, let's also try to send some ETH. So we can go here. To our test tokens, we can click on send, uh, let's send 0.1, also to account 2, next, all good, approve, and here in activity we can see the pending transactions. All right, now that the transactions are complete, we can go on the activity tab and see all the transactions that we've performed. So here's the ETH transaction and that we did to account two, and also the NFT transaction that we did also to account two. If we go on the account switcher here and go to the account two, we can see the ETH value and also the NFT that we received. One last thing, to change some parameters, you can go on the account switcher, settings, and there's a bunch of parameters you can change. And that's it for the demo. Please let us know what you think.